life and today I'm in Larry Pool with my five foot monster Lego Titanic and it's the first time that we're gonna be using this ship this year and like I like to call it this pool season so we're gonna be doing about two sinkings with this and yeah we'll just have it snap in half and sink like usual but what do you think guys should we power wash the ship I know it's seen better days but it gives it a cool vintage look I guess if it's a little bit dirty doesn't it well let's let it sink so we're going to, it's really filled with water right now, so we gotta get the water out. This thing's giant. I gotta get used to holding this ship again. I haven't held it in a while. But here it is. I, I'd say it's normal look. What's supposed to look like in the water when it's not tipped over. Pretty cool, isn't it? Well, now we're going to pretend to hit the iceberg. Well, so we'll use my hands. Smash. It's slowly gonna take water over the bow. And the stern will slowly rise in the air. The water will go over the bridge and slowly make its way up the lifeboat deck, knocking the funnels off. I would knock the funnels off, guys, but it's kind of a pain to have to put them back on. Then, right as it hits about here, the pressure builds up, or the weight, and I got, there we go, smash, smash in half. The bow fully slips under the waves, and the stern kind of floats on the surface, then it slowly tilts up and plummets into the deep North Atlantic. There we go, and there goes the ship. But my Titanic is Lego, so you know what that means? It doesn't sink, it floats forever. <laughs> I can leave this in here for 100 years and still be floating probably, I don't know. Oh, I feel Lego down there, guys. I think I might have lost a Lego. You lose a mast? Oh, it's the mast. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> I knew I felt something, but I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Why well, is the mass, huh? Yeah, we gotta maybe super glue the mass. Would that be a good idea, guys? Let us know. Yeah, we can super glue. Try to pick it up with my idea. toes because it's too cold to go into water. <laughs> oh, I can't pick it up. That's okay. <sighs> forget it. I'll I'll kick it over here and we'll get it after the video. I All right. It. So now we're gonna get the water out of the ship. Larry Lifty has got it for oh, you. Oh, thank you, bud. Yeah. We'll put it right there. No, oh, hold on. There we go. I should be on now. We lost the one on the bow, though, so we'll probably have to buy a new one on eBay. Get all the water out of the ship. Yeah. Uh oh, I hear Legos in here We're moving around, everyone. We're gonna <laughs> Maybe that's the up. furniture from the rooms. It could be, couldn't it? That's a good point. All the little furnishings inside the Titanic. Eventually, I'll have to crack the ship back open and, you know, try to repair some of the beams and stuff that... There's a lot of the stuff in there that's supposed to hold the ship has came loose, and that's not a good thing when you're trying to have a ship in the ocean, you know? Yep, there. It looks like it's back together, so yeah. that's pretty cool. We'll get the water out. We'll do one more sinking, everyone. Here it goes, floating along the Larry Pool. Suddenly, it hits the Larry Pool iceberg. My hands. Crash. Then it slowly starts to get water on it. All oh, the floors are filling up. The bridge goes underwater. Then the first funnel would snap off. The grand staircase would now be flooded. More funnels would snap off. And right about here is when the great snap, I call it, happens. So we gotta try this again, guys, because the snapping part can be a little difficult. So I'm gonna have to take my hand and whack. The bow will go fully underwater. Well, let's push it over there since it floats. Then the stern would slowly start, you know, start to move over here, straight up and down, and slip beneath the waves of the North Atlantic. And yeah, that's the Lego Titanic, guys. But I think Larry left that. We gotta do the Britannic next time. How cool would that be? All right, next weekend we'll do the Britannic, the five foot or six foot long monster Britannic. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't done the Britannic in a while. Yeah. That'd be yeah, cool. but, Good idea. That's really cool. Also, guys, don't forget to check out our new merchandise we have. We just released some new merchandise about a week ago. And if you want to find that, click our channel icon, go to our main channel page, click the little store tab, and you can buy anything from shirts to notebooks to mugs, even to shower curtains. You can buy anything on there. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah, that check would it out be. on YouTube. Yeah, it's really cool, guys. But that's the end of our video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and maybe my next video will be using the Britannic. Guess we'll see. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.